Are you still living in a dirt hut? No, I have a cobblestone hut now. Would you like to live like the ancient Romans? Vene, vidi, visi. Then do I have a deal for you. This fine Roman villa can be yours for the low price of 64 diamond blocks. But I only have one diamond. I'll take it as a deposit with the balance due later, but in the meantime, you'll have to watch the tutorial video. I can do that. Hello, my name is Tridar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this fine Roman house in Minecraft. Let's get started. So the first thing we will do is walk around the exterior. As you can see we have our front door here with two fine Corinthian columns supporting a small portico over the door. We have several large windows all around the exterior. And we have, of course, a fine Roman tiled roof on the top here. And we even have a non-Roman addition, which is going to be an optional fireplace. Because I like houses with fireplaces, so I'm going to be showing you how to build the, the fireplace. But if you don't want the fireplace and want a traditional underfloor Roman hypocaust heating system, then you can build that also. Just build that sidewall like this one over here. But for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the option with the fireplace. So let's go inside and take a look at it. When we go through the door in here, of course, we have a nice wooden floor with our very warm fire over here. I've also added some furnaces on the sides over here as well for you to do your smelting in. And we have the walls paneled in spruce and the beams on the ceiling as well. We have a generous amount of space on the interior here. Plenty of room for you to put down your bed and your chest and your enchanting and smelting apparatus. There is also over here, you will note we have a ladder which goes up to an attic area, doubling the amount of floor space we have in the house. I imagine this up here would be for your long-term storage of blocks you don't particularly need on a daily basis, but you might want to have in storage. And of course, because I play with fire tick off, I have some lit nether rack over here, but there is space back here for you to put a campfire as well. So you can have uh, smoke particles coming out of the chimney at the top here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the bill of materials you are going to need to construct this fine Roman edifice. You will need to gather 1,478 blocks of cobble, 102 blocks of diorite, 212 blocks of red nether brick, 483 stone bricks, 39 cobblestone slabs, 72 stone brick slabs, 27 chiseled stone bricks, 147 stone brick stairs, 194 cobblestone stairs, 89 cobblestone walls, 244 spruce planks, 433 spruce tree trunks, 126 spruce slabs, 57 spruce stairs, 115 leaf blocks of your choice, 76 light blue stained glass panes, one dark oak door, one campfire, 115 blackstone slabs, 79 nether brick fences, or possibly spruce fences if you don't like how the nether bricks look, 184 blocks of grass or dirt, four furnaces, 10 ladders, and 20 torches. So now that you know what we need, let's come over here and take a look at the foundation for our house here. Now, the tutorial from this point forward is going to be laid out in two block slices, meaning that each additional phase I show you is going to be two blocks taller than the previous slice. And the first thing you will need to do is lay out a base of stone bricks of 25 by 25 square. 
and the house itself is also going to be 24 blocks tall, so it almost fits inside of a perfect cube, by the way, which it would do if you wanted to make the base a little bit taller, perhaps the chimney a block taller. But let me give you a good top-down view. You can see you're placing in your grass blocks all on this phase. And there are some stone bricks over here denoting where the fireplace and the chimney are situated. And along the top of those, you want to put in a band of cobblestone stairs all the way around the side of the building. So that way no mobs can get in unless they come up your front stairs here. And of course your front stairs are going to be seven blocks wide, two flights tall, and they go right in the middle of your building. So if you want to draw a little center line, they will go on either side of the front like this here. So take your time and build up your base, and we will move on to the next phase over here. And this one, we're going to be laying down our shrubberies on the side here with the leaf blocks. Whichever leaf blocks you choose to use for this, I chose spruce in my texture pack, but you can choose oak or jungle, or whichever blocks you prefer, and you pretty much just want to make a ring all the way around and at the front here we want to join it to the house and we also want to start building up a couple of shrubs on the side here. So with that explained you will also want to start building out the bases for your columns here and you do it according to this pattern here. You just put down a cross of cobblestone and then some stone bricks stairs on top of that. Behind that, you're starting to put in your door. You want to have some stairs here, and then a bit of stone brick on either side like so. We're putting in our door either here or out here. And some chiseled stone bricks behind those. On the sides of the house here, you want to put in some cobblestone stairs arranged on top of each other, right side up and then upside down, two of those in front of the window base, like you see done here, with stone bricks on either side of those. And you want to put in some cobblestone back here, outlining where you're going to be putting your campfire, which would probably be uh, right here. And then there's some nether brick fences and some more chiseled stone bricks on either side of those, along with the furnaces. Not too complicated. All of the window designs, by the way, these all have the same design, except for the one in the middle here, which is going to be three blocks wide instead of two, as you see done here. And you want to go all the way around your house and build out the windows, as you see done here. You also want to start layering in some stone bricks here at the bottom, but on top of that, for the wall exterior, you want, you want to put in some cobblestone because we're going to be alternating those in bands as we go up the side of the house. Now, on the inside here, you want to build your floor out with this pattern here, which is just done with vertical tree trunks and spruce blocks laid out here. Of course, if you want to choose a different wood type for this, you are welcome to do so. It is your house after all. And on the inside, along the baseboards here, you want to put in vertical tree trunks, as you see done here, pretty much all the way around your house. So let me go up over here and give you a good top-down view of what we've been doing so far. If you need to, just pause the video and replicate the block patterns that you see on your screen. All right, with that done, let's move on to the next phase. I said we're going up two more blocks. At the front here, we're putting in two um, of the column drums. 
made out of diorite for our Corinthian columns here at the front. We're also finishing off the shrubs that we have on the side here. These should be the last leaf blocks you have to place. You're just putting a, a cross of leaf blocks and then another block and then another cross and then one more block on top of those. That's all you have to do for that. For the window designs here, we're putting in some cobblestone walls on the sides here. And behind those, we're putting in our nether brick fences, or you can use spruce or another type of fence in here if you so please. And behind those, we're putting in our light blue stained glass panes, as you see done here. And for the walls, you're continuing those upwards on the inside here with tree trunks, as you see laid out here, but also some full blocks of spruce and some more chiseled stone bricks around the door, as you see laid out here. And over on the side here for the mantle of your fireplace. So build that out like you see done here. We have our two furnaces on either side here. And on the back here, we have our three wide window. And the rest of them are two wide. And you're also starting to put in the ladder, which is going to be going up to your attic. And here's a view of the outside. Here, as I've said, we're layering in stone bricks here. But then you're doing a two block band of cobblestone. And then you're going back to stone bricks. Now on top of this, again, you're going to do another two block layer of cobblestone as well. This is just done to give your build, which would otherwise be a flat segment of wall, a little bit of texture without having to actually carve out anything from it. Here's the design on the back here and on the sides here. Now for the chimney, we are doing something a little bit different. We're layering in two blocks of stone bricks here and one block of cobble. It's the reverse of what we were doing for the walls. But on the sides here, we're doing just straight cobblestone all the way up. And you will see that as we move along. So with that done, let's move on to the next phase. Over here, two more blocks of diorite for your column drums. A little bit of detail here in front of the door. We have some right side up cobblestone stairs and then the upside down on top of that to create this little rectangular cutout on top of the door. For the windows, you are going straight up with the same pattern that you did on the last phase. Along the front sides and the back sides, as you see done here. On the inside, for the walls, you are continuing the trunks and the spruce and the glass straight up as well. On the inside, though, you are putting in some stone bricks upside down here to serve as your mantelpiece. And you can put little mementos on top of your mantle whenever you build out your base. So here is a good view of the interior. Give you a top-down view of that. And we will move on to the next phase. Over here, two more blocks of diorite for the columns. And on the outside here, we're now putting in lintels of stone bricks, as you see done here, upside down. But on top of that, you want to put slabs here and here. And then a cobblestone wall right here to serve as a detail because we're going to be making a little triangular feature over the door and we have some little semicircular features over the windows outside here which are done with more upside down stairs and slabs on top of those according to the pattern that you see done here and you also note you want to have a couple of blocks of diorite behind these to serve as a little bit of contrast from the cobblestone And there we have these sides here as well. Now, let's take a look at the inside. 
For this, we are putting in a band of horizontal uh, spruce trunks all the way around the room. And on top of those, we're putting on some molding of upside down spruce stairs with a little cutout here for your ladder to get up to your attic. And they also go around and cover over the fireplace over here as well. And in the next phase, I think we are going to start putting on the ceiling of this room as well. So on the outside here, you are done putting in your diorite. But now we're going to be putting our fine Corinthian capitals. I mean, well, you know, it's, it's as good as we can get away with at this scale with Minecraft. You're going to have to use your imagination. For this, we're putting in upside down cobblestone stairs and upside down stone brick stairs just right on top of each other to serve as our acanthus leaves. For the door back here, you're putting in that last slab to make this little triangular section over the door. And you're also building the walls up with the alternating bands of cobblestone and stone bricks on the outside. As you see done here, you're just carrying all of that up. On the top here, we are putting in the roof for our main room. So let's go inside and take a look at that. For this, you are putting in some horizontal spruce beams pretty much everywhere. You're putting a central line of this down the middle. And every two blocks, you're putting in another beam that comes across the roof, as you see done here, to give us this nice wooden coffered ceiling that we have here and if we go up the ladder here that will also serve as the floor for the attic space and for the attic as you can see you're just putting in vertical spruce tree trunks all the way around the side to serve as your baseboard here except where the chimney cuts through the building but as I said, if you are not building this, then you just want to build it the same as this side over here if you don't want that in your house. For the next phase over here, we are putting in an entablature made of a diorite and upside down stone brick stairs. And you want to do this all the way around your house, intersecting with the chimney over here. And it's flat on the back and the side over here. But you also want to extend it out a little to cover over your columns here. Just three blocks from the side of the wall here. And fill it in with cobble on the top. And our main room below was complete in the last phase. So we will just be talking about the roof and the attic for the rest of the house. As you can see, the ladder stops here. And we are putting in some upside down spruce stairs every other block along here. And this is done to serve as structural support for our roof rafters, which we are going to be building momentarily. And for the walls behind the entablature, you're just filling that in with cobble. And on the inside here, you're filling it in with spruce blocks as you see done here. So on this phase we are now starting to put in our Roman tiled roof. So things are going to be getting a little bit complicated. So on top of our entablature which we finished here on the last phase you're now starting to use a bit more of these chiseled stone bricks with cobblestone walls on top of those on the sides here to serve as decorative finales. And you're doing this on all of the corners of the roof. On top of this, we're putting a small triangular pediment, and you're doing this with full block and then a slab and another slab on top of that, like so. And you'll put another slab on top of it here to finish that off. Behind it, you're filling it in with red nether bricks and you're also alternating the blocks here in other words for this you're putting in red nether brick like this but in between those in this 
jagged pattern, you're also putting in your blackstone slabs. Uh, conversely, if you don't care to use the pattern and you don't really want to farm the red nether brick, you can just use plain blackstone for this, or you can also just use wood if you so choose as well. But I would recommend against that, we really want to have something uh, fireproof on top of our roof, so that is why we are using the uh, nether bricks and blackstone instead of spruce. So, on the top here, we want to start building out a little ridge of cobblestone, as you see done here. It's going to be to give our roof design a little bit more character to break up the pattern of the roof tiles uh, somewhat. On the sides here, you're doing the same pattern on both sides to make the triangular section, and you're using the same design that you used for the front over there. You're just using full blocks and then a slab on top of a slab, another slab, and then another slab on top of that. Then it will be another full block, and you will be continuing this all the way upwards as you see done over there. But let's not get to that immediately. Let's come over here at the back, because as I've said, we're using these cobblestone ridges right here to break up the pattern of the roof to give the roof overall a little bit more character. It's just done for decorative purposes. So this is the design that you want to make it on the back as you see done here. Now let's drop in and take a look at our attic. As I've said, we are building out some rafters here. You put in every other block a upside down spruce stairs so every other other one of those, you want to have three of these things here, which are pretty much just going to be uh, spruce slabs laid out along the pattern that you see here. But you also want to, behind your roof uh, tiles, you want to put in these horizontal spruce tree trunks laid out like this. And then a s more slabs underneath those, and then another spruce thing here, and then more slabs. Until you get something that resembles this around here. So, with that done, let's go over here and take a look at the front. We're completing this on this face. You're putting another decorative finale here at the top. And behind that, you're continuing this little ridge here, all the way back, as you see done here. And I think this should probably be cobblestone there, instead of red nether brick. And once you meet in the middle here, you want to carry the roof pattern all the way up, as you were doing before, just another two block segment. You want to have the central ridge come up here, which is going to meet the horizontal central ridge that's going to cap off our roof over here. As you can see, the ridges on the back here are continuing up with the same pattern. And the sides of your house should now have this triangular pediment on either end around here. That's what it looks like on this side, and it looks like this over here if you are building the option of the house with the fireplace and the chimney. Done according as you see here. Alright, so we are almost done. I think the only thing left to do now is to finish off a bit more of the chimney over here and the central ridge of the house that I just talked about done entirely of alternating full blocks and slabs of cobblestone laid out in the pattern that you see done here with one final decorative finale on the top of the pediment over here. And before we get away from this one, we should drop in and take a look at the now finished attic space on the top over here. As you can see, all of the rafters just come together at a point here, and you want to put 
some more spruce slabs to finish the effect of doing that over here. And that will be your roof section complete. Indeed, all of your roof and room segments should be complete at that phase. So for this one, just two more blocks, you want to continue up the chimney, which you do by putting in some cobblestone slabs and then upside down cobblestone slabs all the way around on top of each other and then some right side up stone brick stairs on top of those. And once you have done that, your small Roman house should be complete. So I hope you enjoyed the small Roman house tutorial. I try to mix in these smaller building tutorials along with the larger ones that I do because all some people really want is just a, a nice small house to live in. So I wanted to give you a tutorial providing that. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.